What is going on there, jelly beans and fruit cakes? It is Legion back in the house once again with some tips for you commentators out there. And you know, even though I'm probably not the so-called expert to talk about this, but I'm just giving some helpful tips that people have told me since becoming a commentator myself, which I uh, love very much doing. And before I start off, it's probably best for gamers, like for gaming commentaries, who are uh, looking for this stuff, being as I'm a gamer myself, and so is my channel. But uh, yeah, let's kick it off then with tip number one. So tip number one is be yourself. Now I've seen some commentators try to do a style of white boy or uh, X Jaws or Summit, for example, being as they're really big gaming YouTubers, and people would expect sub slash viewers, I guess, from that because of how big white boy is. And you know, you could really mess up there if you're commentating the way they do. Like, and you know, say you're impersonating white boy for a few months and then when you start again used to the commentaries and you do your own style viewers you know the people will pick up that straight away and you may lose subscribers for that so definitely don't impersonate you know someone just be yourself definitely um, tip number two upload content that makes you happy and have fun basically you know being serious at what games content upload can distract you and the quality of your videos and just to be, you know just because a certain game is more popular than the one you're doing doesn't mean people will ignore it you know as a commentator people expect entertainment from you as an individual and uh, not always from your games you upload so you know hope that makes sense I guess but yeah just have fun do what you're doing and upload content that you enjoy doing I guess uh, tip number three ignore hateful comments of course some of your uploads probably will get dislikes you know just like Justin Bieber's music videos which I don't blame you or maybe hateful comments being as most of the people on the internet are so opinionated and negative the only thing they can come out of this basically is constructive criticism and tips from the comments to improve your videos next time so that's a good one look out for the comments that you know they might give you some tips back for you to improve your next videos which I normally do um, moving on to tip number four I guess uh, you know because four is higher than three um, goals definitely set goals on the YouTube channel um, you know, it's not a tip to improve your commentary, as I say, but you know, setting goals on your YouTube channel can give you a bit of a push, like in the right direction, producing better content, even joining a network or a community channel. You can pick up extra tips, etc., to help you improve in yourself, your videos, and just naturally overall get better at what you're doing on YouTube. Um, let's take a breather because I'm going to lose my voice in a minute. Tip number five. Don't upload commentaries longer than 10 minutes. Now, unless it's like a live commentary or a series you're doing, um, you know, lately people do get a bit impatient now watching really long videos and being as they are other videos for them probably to watch, you know, not saying that their video, you know, your video is uninteresting, but, um, you know, make it 10 minutes max, I say. And, uh, you know, try and get a good, entertaining, thrill seeking, junky gameplay as well in the commentary. You know, it'll get the viewers excited and on the edge of their seat, ready to explode, I guess. So, uh, yep, um, tip number six if you're going to do YouTube and want an audience, I suggest you go buy a really decent capture card for your videos, which is a uh, good capture card is Black Magic, uh, yeah, and um, HD PVR, which is the most popular one. And you know, it's very simple to set up and being as it's a HD recording, it makes videos uh, viewing very pleasurable if you get my drift. But uh, if you're going to you know, probably record now and then and forth so on, I suggest you buy a Dazzle or an EasyCap being as they're a lot more cheaper. And you know, if you're not bothered about growing an audience, although it's a, you know, a few tweaks to the capture card like Dazzle like I said before, you know, it can become pretty good standard definition quality, you know, quality, quality, you know what I mean. But, uh, yep, so my last tip I'll say, tip number seven, uh, always colour correct, sharpen, and make sure your voice is louder than the gameplay of your, yeah, of your video you're doing. You know, it makes a lot of difference of a video, which is only takes two minutes, you know, colour correction, you know, to get rid of those murky, blurry areas, uh, sharpness, see a bit more detail in the gameplay. And obviously, you know, you want to hear your voice rather than gameplay because that'd be kind of distracting, I guess. But um, yeah, hopefully these tips do help you out. I'll probably like write these uh, tips down in the description below if you want to go check them out. And uh, yeah, thanks for you guys. Hope this helps a lot for any commentators out there and even uh, making videos like I just said before, that tip number seven. But uh, yeah, my name's Legion. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.